Hi, this is DH Dunn, and I'm here to ask myself a somewhat evolving question. Can I survive the new map Sundered Pass? Uh, can I live 10 days? I don't know, that feels off the table at the moment, but we're gonna keep trying it. Um, but we're gonna get back into it. This is my first time that, um, learning completely new content in front of YouTube. I've done it on Twitch several times, but um, it's very, it's, it's intimidating. Um, this is, oh, wait a minute, what? So we're loading this in. And, okay, right, so if you resume, you don't get this question, but if you load, you do. I mean, sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here long enough, I don't think. Sure, no problem. Okay, so we're back in this nice yellow bed that reminds me of the back rooms. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. And I think the two things I'm most unhappy about is my condition level and um, the fact that we're only warm if we're in the bed. Not thrilled about that. And I still think, you know... It's still intel gathering, you know? We are still here trying to help the next Astrid. Someday there will be an Astrid that succeeds. Um, but it is not probably this Astrid. This Astrid was the one who discovered how we can use this uh, structure. God, I wish I was warmer. It's just... Your options are just so limited. It feels so enclosed. Um, I really just want to break out of this area. But between the cold and the weather, <laughs> case in point, um, and the, and the Timby. Find some place to escape. Like, this is the first time, really, for me, that the Timbies have been majorly impactful. Uh, I kind of understand now why they set them up the way they did, you know, or what their design goal may have been. Uh, because, you know, like I said uh, yesterday, um, I mostly find the Timbies annoying. They're, you know, they don't stop me from doing anything that I want to do for the most part in Blackrock and um, in Bleak, because you can kind of work around them. They're more of a problem, I think, in Bleak, particularly around the workshop, at least for me. Um, in Blackrock, I feel like they're pretty avoidable. I I survived 10 days in Blackrock without really knowing the map. Um, getting around the Timbies, not on my first try, to be clear. Not on my first try. But the Timbies were never the reason I died, as I remember. I could be wrong about that. My memory's not great. You guys know that. But here, they are a major factor in my decisions. They are keeping me in this location. Partially because I'm already so hurt that I know I can't really deal with them. And I feel Can you eat trees? So I'm gonna I'm gonna eat a tree. Pinned. I feel so pinned into this spot now. I I closed yesterday's episode of optimism and like we got matches and we got we got a chance. A chance to do what though? A chance to go where? When the blizzard breaks, I think I'm gonna try to pick a direction and just go with it. I was very excited yesterday when we found that bridge, but the bridge ended up being broken. So when the blizzard ends, <laughs> uh, we don't have any more tea making supplies. Um, and I don't think we even have tea making stuff. Like this is the extent of our inventory is this. We do have this, but it's not enough. Um, we can harvest this. Yeah, we'd like to use this time effectively, right? This time that I'm spending inside with the blizzard, but, um, can't because I need to keep getting back into the bed to stay warm otherwise I'll be too cold to do anything when the blizzard does break even though that temperature is going to go away in two seconds anyway 
So I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, did I miss this? What is this? Uh, it looks like it's something. But okay, well, I hate just sitting here. It drives me nuts. It really does. And I was thinking uh, this morning about how I feel about the update thus far. And um, it's hard because you go to different places and you kind of get different vibes. Uh, I spent some time on Reddit yesterday. The response on Reddit is pretty not happy. Um, not completely, not 100%, but, you know, there's definitely some level of dissatisfaction there. I spent some time in Zach's stream yesterday and uh, there was pretty positive. I think I think the universal thing that I think everybody seems grumbly about is how the cougar works. The majority opinion on that seems to be not not positive. But thinking specifically about this map so far. Even Zach said, Zach said he feels this may be the hardest map in the game. And that it is a map that is very, very challenging to survive on, even for a player at his skill level, without map knowledge. He said, I, I went into, you know, zone of con uh, contamination blind. I went into Forsaken Airfield blind, and I survived. Now, he just put his new video out today. I don't know how he did. I haven't watched it yet. His um, video for this map. But I think one of the things that I love about the Long Dark Probably one of the things I love most about The Long Dark is the feeling of exploration, of seeing new things, of finding new routes and new, you know, little secrets and a new cave and a new thing. And so, um, you know, uh, a new map is like, you know, a toy on Christmas morning. And this toy has been very tightly wrapped with a lot of tape on it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like it's not the present that dad wrapped, you know, the night before. This is the present that grandma wrapped two months ago. My grandmother would put so much tape on Christmas presents. It was like getting into Fort Knox. I want to explore this map and the map is kind of fighting my ability to do that. And it's so cool. I want to see all that stuff. And to lesser extent, I felt that F.A. and Z.O.C. do that. I think Z.O.C. does it the least. Z.O.C. gives you interesting things to look at right away. Uh, F.A. really makes you take that long winding approach in before you really get to do anything. And by that time, you're already, you know, probably, you know, in some kind of rough state unless you came in fully kitted out. Now, coming to Sundered Pass fully kitted out, I'm sure, is a completely different and much more um, um, balanced experience than coming in looking like this <laughs> this is different so that's my take that's 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 what i'm feeling those are my honest feelings i'm excited about the update i am i haven't experienced the cougar yet um uh, i've mostly spent time with cheat death which i think is a little wonky but fun i like it i like it and it's definitely punishing uh misery mode so far really like misery mode i'm having a good time with that me me and burb were spending a lot of time last night uh very tiny burb one of the other hobbits just kind of strategizing ways to beat it that's fun um the cougar like i said i haven't engaged with it yet i didn't need another predator in the game that's my own personal opinion people who are upset about it i that's valid valid way to feel i'm not because i didn't really need something past what's here i did think it was going to work differently than it does but until i experience it i kind of have to reserve judgment on it um, and, uh, the new map, the new map. So that was one of the things I was most excited about. And I really, I just, so I just want to play, but <laughs> let me play, let me play. This is from a design perspective. This is what I don't like about Glimmer Fog. It's the same thing. Is it, is it inhibits your ability to enjoy the game, but it doesn't send you into an interesting direction. It just makes you stay where you are. Uh, and that's just not what I want. <laughs> I want to go outside and play. And I can't because the weather's bad. I'm like a little kid looking out the window. 
<laughs> at the at the rain or the snow. Um. Okay. So enough. Warm up soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I mean, I was excited to find matches yesterday. To be honest, I'm almost excited to die so that I can start again and see if the matches are here again. So this becomes something that I, you know, kind of head for. And I found a way to get to this without engaging with the Timbies yesterday, but it did take a while. Is it faster to just run here? I don't know. I can't feel my body. Okay. You know what? Screw it. I'm leaving. I don't care. I don't care. I want to see the map. I'm going this way. I'm going to try to get up. Damn it. I'm not going that way. What if I go up? Oh, no. Timbies don't work that way. Timbies don't work that way. You can't just break their pathing and then go away. I can't get off this tree now. Was this the pack I got? I want to see where you are. I want to see if they can get up here. How close can you guys get? Now I... Ooh! Did you see him? <gasps> they can almost get up here. Can we break the morale? If I break the pack... Where'd they go, man? Guys, come back. I want to do stuff to you. If I break the pack morale, come on, then bear. I can leave, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> I think that's, I don't know. I don't, I'm so, I just ignore them. I never really engage with them. I just find them annoying. Come here. That didn't do anything. I would love to get, like, way up here, but they won't let me. Come here, you bastards. Come on. Where are you? Oh, great, they're invisible. Now, come on, that hits you. Okay, well, I'm not a good shot with them. With this. They're gonna get me when I go over here. You know what? Screw it. What if we just try this? Haha! -ha. I bounced that one off him. Well, I lost my um, torch there. That's fine. I just, I want to know what's up here. Timbies, you can come with me if you want. I've decided I'm YOLOing my way out of here. I'll go it away from you jerks if I can. Ooh, fishing hut. What do you want to bet this ice breaks? I don't know what they do with a fishing hut. I swear to God, is that another timber wolf over there? Yes, it's a f another pack. Fine, let's go. Come on in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me everybody. Give me everybody. Hey, look at this. Okay, well, we learned something about the map. I can come in here, get my sprint back. This is no longer an attempt to survive. This is an attempt to gain information. Come on, little fire. Oh, lucky day. Yeah, put the coal in there. 
I forgot I had this many sticks, too. Now, have some thoughts. God, I wish I could make any kind of tea. Well, you can't. Make water because why not? Okay, we are at least warming up. Eat your last two cattails. All right, Astrid, we're going down swinging. This is the new plan. Come here. Now. Okay, hang on. <laughs> now that did scare them off. But they didn't lose morale from it, that I can see. I could stand outside the um, fishing hut. Back to the hut, still warm. Come here. I feel like these are hitting them and nothing has happened. Oh, you got me. You know what? Credit to you, dude. Credit to you. Okay, well, let me try. All right, boys, chow down. There you go. Now, do I want to cheat death? The only option for cheating death would be to, to start nearby. They'd have me start nearby in a bad situation. I'm curious to see where they put me. Okay. Uh, I'd rather have the permanent penalty because we're not living long time anyway. Close risky respawn. Okay, I know we'll come back with three matches. I think if you have at least three matches, you come back with three matches. But it's an opportunity to gain a little bit more intel, maybe. Okay. Uh, yes, three matches. Looking around. I don't know where I am. Try to get a little height. We probably are going to die anyway, so why not see? Ooh, we're close to that bridge. Damn, I'm freezing. All right, we're going to have to go down, Astrid. Hang on. Astrid. Astrid, walk forward, woman. Oh, ptarmigans. That's good. Nice. I need to find a place to rest. Now you start with this black and white situation that lasts, I think, 60 hours in game. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Just wondering, no cave, no cave. I don't think you have any food. No, you got no food or water, Astrid, so. What I do like about the cheat death mechanic, I think I think I'm a fan. I think it needs a little tweaking. The far the distant safe location thing. <laughs> okay. The first time I tried it, if you watched my video, you'll see this. I have a video on um uh the uh cheating death. Um the first time I tried it, I died in Tim Wolf Mountain right outside Mountaineers, and I chose the distant safe location, and they put me in bleak inlet. <laughs> with like nothing um outside the fisher cabins um when i tried it on stream i don't remember where they where i died but the the distant safe location was again bleak inlet inside the workshop with the wolf <laughs> in a in a room <laughs> so i do think a little work is required on the distance safe mechanic but it's interesting. It doesn't feel like a free do-over to me. Um, it feels like a fun little, almost like, bonus round. See, we're right back to the Timberwolves. Or are these actual wolves? No, these are Timberwolves. Let's go, boys. Let's finish what you started. Woo! 
look right at him as he gets you. Yeah. But that's it. Come on, dude. They like to get you from behind. They don't want to get you head on. There we go. All right. Did we try again? How much worse could it get? We'll cheat death again. Another permanent penalty. Sure. Close risky. Because I don't want to end up out of the map. This, this, this is about this map. Maybe on the third one, maybe when I die the third time, we'll just see where they put me just to see if, if we would define that as safe. But we, we won't actually use it. But how did I get here? Okay. I have no freaking clue. This may be the exact same location. It kind of looks like it is. I wonder if they always... Well... It probably depends on where you died, and I died in close, you know, similar locations both times, so. Yeah, this is the same spot. I'm quite, quite I sure of that. I felt so cold in my life. I'll try going this way. I don't know how well this records. I was also a little worried I was muted. <laughs> in which case, this recording was a disaster. But I wasn't. Um... You have to do a lot of sprinting here, so I'm glad I used Astrid. I will continue to use Astrid for this series because um, Will is just... Damn. We love you, Will, but... Aw, uh, man. Uh, uh. Ooh, we're back on the road. Whoa. You killed me, sign. Yeah, okay. All right, so we'll take distant, distant safe just to see where it puts us. Cheat death, last chance. Permanent. Far safe respawn. Okay. And our far safe respawn is... <laughs> ah, Quonset. <laughs> okay, I would define this as safe and far. Yeah. I would define this as safe and far. If I had been super emotionally invested in this run, you know, 200 days or whatever, and I didn't want to lose it, and I'm like, you know what? Okay, fine. I will take the hit. Um, you know, <laughs> literally coming back with almost no inventory, a million miles away from where I was, but into this location, I would be I would be okay with that. Okay, fair enough. All right, we're gonna give this another try. Custom interloper. Uh, not lower grade bear, far territory. Thunder test. Astrid. Is there any argument to? No. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. <laughs> no, there isn't. No argument for the other ones. Uh, pass four. I forgot to see how many days we lived. Oh, well. I'm sure it was like two. Okay, I think this is always where you start. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure that this way leads you back to transfer pass. I don't want to spend all that time last time we went this way and we found a um uh a rope climb that led to a cave route or a chute really like a rock chute this time i'm gonna go this way but if there's a left or you know if there's a turn i didn't take in the past when I went this way, I will take it. Like this. For well, now, that's nothing. Never mind. This is just where the road is. Excuse me. Pardon me. Maybe I do a better job of collecting rose hips this time. I don't know. Because, you know, having some tea making supplies might have kept me going at the end there.
This is a jump. Or Astrid's best approximation thereof. I appreciate this weather. It's only five below. It's balmy. I think we better make hay while the sun shines here. That's a weird expression. I don't know where I learned that. Make hay while the sun shines. I guess you can't make hay in the dark. Like, bales of hay? <laughs> I'm not sure, what, not sure where that one comes from. Okay, now, I think there's like a turnoff on this thing. Hello. I'm not sure that I found you before, but again, it's a truck that just says, screw you, you get nothing, thanks for nothing. Okay. Moving along, moving along, moving along, moving along. This is a nice clear view. The last time I went on this bridge thing, I, it was, I think, much darker. Now, is there, no, this is a bridge. It's just nice to not have timber wolves, you know? You grab a couple rocks. I guess I need to go to timber wolf school and learn how to handle them better because I'm not going to be able to avoid them here like I do in other maps. That's a good, good assignment for Twitch. Just have a stream where I do nothing but fight timber wolves for two hours. Very exciting. Now, I don't want to scare the ptarmigans away. They put them so close to the road. Why'd you put them so close to the road? Okay, our first not warm location, uh, firewood. Doesn't take long to search it. Sewing kit. Here's the wind. Do I want to take the time to grab cloth and... No. I don't need tinder, so I don't need that cardboard box. Again, I feel like the best route is to just... Grow. Now, I think I went that way last time. Pretty sure. Or I've been that way. I'm going to ignore those rose hips. I'm going to continue this way. Now that's intriguing over there. I wonder if you can climb up that. Is this another jump? No. Okay. Okay, wait, no, I do remember this now because you start here in the running water and then you see the super cool waterfall. The music swells up. Cascading gap. Um, actually, no, I don't think I did do this. Hang on, because it looks like you can go over there. Or I did this from the other direction. That's also possible. Oh, look at this. Hello. No, 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 no. This might be new stuff, maybe... Don't be mad at me if I saw this before, guys. Whew. Sure getting cold. Yeah, I know, Astrid. Astrid number four. <laughs> Are you the prime Astrid, or are you just another Astrid in a series of Astrids? This is your only job to help Astrid 5. Now this, I 
think I did. I think I did this. Initially, I'm like, nope, this is new, but this is so cold. I think I went over that, I that bridge, lay down that tree bit. bridge. I'm just, you know what? I know she's getting cold. I know I need to find her some shelter, but I'm just grooving on the ability to explore. <laughs> to be honest. I think I did that. I saw something down with this dead guy. I don't know. Either of these could be an interesting option, but I'm going to go this way. I see those cattails. I'm not going to go get them. Whoops. Jeez. Okay, I guess I am getting them. Bumped into my mouse. <laughs> My coffee cup was like, the hell you're not. You are getting those cattails, sir. It is weird to be in this map and not be super tense. <laughs> like, I'm tense, but I'm not super tense. It is weird to be here without being super tense. Oh. 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 Ooh. God, I can't see anything I want to see. Okay, well, now we got to go find matches or a flare or something so that I can see what's in here. I'm going to attempt to continue to go this way in the hopes that it leads me to another cabin. And that cabin might have a flare. Or this may be the end of the road. Uh, yeah. Or is it? No. I'm just dumb. Never mind. Ah. <laughs> uh. Looks like something is nothing. No problem. Ooh, it's getting late. Yep. around we gotta find something that might be that broken bridge okay we're into the falling rock area there's the jerks there's the a-frame the a-frame will not be warm i'm gonna try to crouch see if i can get in there without them seeing me Stupid A-frame isn't going to be warm. Nothing's warm. I haven't found a warm location yet. Look at those jerks. I'll tell you, though. If this has a flare, do I take the flare and go back to the cave and just roll the dice. Or do I take the flare, start a fire, 
Mmm, yeah. <gasps> Cooking pot. It's nice. Hey, we got here without the jerks uh, aggroing me. Well, I like that the game said, you know what? You sound really, really struggling with this decision of what to do with the flare. We'll make it easy for you. We just won't give you one. But you know what? This. We're warm in here. I cannot explain it. But we are warm. It's because it's warmer outside. I would love to make any kind of you know, clothing. Do we think... Well, we can sleep an hour. We'll warm up a little. We're still warm. Go an hour again. I'm probably going to run into weather. I really thought there was going to be a flare here. Would they really make us deal with the Timbies and not give us even a flare? And do you guys ever, does your shift ever end? Do you guys ever go home? Go to sleep? Come on, guys. What's this? This is a fire. And by the fire is nothing. <laughs> okay. Close the door. We're not heating the outside. And again, if you came here, kit it out. You know, lantern, you know, matches. Like, this is a different situation. You know, part of the struggle here is I want to explore the map without spending, you know, several ga in-game or hours getting ready. Maybe that's an unfair expectation on my part to ask. It is for advanced players. It says that. I mean, I don't know. My, I, I don't know where I am on that scale. You know, I don't feel like an advanced player. Um... Okay, we are finally cold in this building. Which means, yeah, we're eventually not going to be able to sleep to stay warm. I think we're just holding our own here. Yeah. You are not tired enough. Pass an hour. Feels like one. Feels like zero. Pass an hour. Okay. Okay. I think, yeah, feels like negative one. We're okay, but we're not great. Um, it's not that long until morning. God, why can't I? I have a long-standing frustration that you can't rip a pillow. And it's not because I think you should be able to rip a pillow. It's that if you can break one of those crates down with your bare hands, you should be able to rip a pillow. If you can break a pry bar apart with your bare hands, then you should be able to rip a pillow. So it's not really that I think regular people can just grab pillows and rip them open. It's that if you can do these other things, why can't you do this anything thing? Right now. Yeah, I got nothing for you on that front, Astrid. I can't help you there. I'm just trying to keep you warm. And that's not going to happen. Um, this is this is stress eating. <laughs> that's all this is. 
I guess I could prepare rose hips. Oh, it's even colder. But if we go outside, we'll, we will be cold instantly. This at least delays it. I'm going to sleep an hour. I'm going to take the save. And here comes the blizzard. Oh, oh boy. I keep trying to make this work. Oh, it's not a blizzard. It is just a blizzard. It is a blizzard. Okay, well, here's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to come back tomorrow or next time, whenever next time is. Uh, and we are going to wait for this weather to break take whatever damage we have to take and we're gonna try to get what i want to do since i already have the save i'm just gonna show you what i want to do if i want to get around the corner here Wait. I'm so cold. I'm warm and head over this way and see where this takes me um which i'm kind of doing <laughs> now I I may have gotten a no that wasn't an actual affliction so as long as I don't get an affliction I won't get I, it won't save so uh, I'm gonna take that save there and we will come back tomorrow and we will we will continue our adventures are slamming into the wall that is Sundered Pass and you know I'm stubborn and I don't care you know some of you asteroids may die but that is a price I'm willing to pay <laughs> to learn the map. So that's going to do it for me for today. I'll be back tomorrow. And uh, Zach's got a, a, a video out today, Zach Nefane, that I'm sure lays it all out for you. I'm not going to watch it because I really want to figure this out for myself, which sucks because I love to watch Zach's stuff. But um, that's going to do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back tomorrow with more adventures in the long dark. If you've enjoyed this video, this type of content, this approach, my own groove, then uh, you could subscribe and you'd get this every day for whatever reason why you would want it. And uh, if you like and comment, that does really help me with the YouTube uh, business algorithm stuff. And uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe, take care of each other, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.